everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. On today's Five Ways Wednesday, I'm gonna show you five ways that I make my life more productive and easier while I try to balance being a wife and a mom and a stay-at-home mom and a working mom and a business owner and all those different things. I have done some videos on this in the past, but I have some new stuff that I wanna share with you that has made my life so much easier. And I think every mom really needs to know about some of these things. So one thing about running a business out of your home is that you are always shipping things out. That's just a part of my daily life. Every morning I get up and I know that I'm packing and shipping orders. Now, if you don't own your own business out of your home, then that's probably not part of your daily life. But I do know that a lot of moms are very active on buy, sell, trade pages, or maybe you do something um, in the MLM world like Lip Sense or Rodan and Fields. So one thing that I use every day that helps me out, and I think will help you out too if you're one of those people making frequent trips to the post office, is USPS Schedule a Pickup. Now I will add a caveat that you have to be able to print your own shipping labels at home, which is actually really easy as long as you have a printer. You can do a shipping label um, through the USPS website, you can do it through PayPal or through UPS, but of course if you're using UPS, you're not going to be able to use USPS Pickup for the most part. But um, going online to USPS.com or through PayPal is a really great and easy way to go ahead and print out your shipping labels at home so you don't have to actually be in the physical post office to get the label printed out. Basically the way that it works is you just log on to the USPS site and you go in to schedule a pickup. And from there, all you have to do is list out what your address is, how many packages are being picked up, and what is the estimate weight value of these. So is it five pounds, is it 10 pounds or whatever. And then when your post lady or postman goes through their regular route and goes by your house, all they do is walk right up to your front porch, grab the boxes off of the porch and take it with them. An important caveat is that you do have to do this before I think 2 a.m. Central, the day that you want it picked up. So you have all the way up until like 2 a.m. that morning if you want packages picked up the next day to just go into the website, fill out the really, really fast form, and then you can have your stuff picked up. The next thing that I use to make sure that I'm having a super productive day is something called the Pomodoro Technique. This is actually a time management method that's based on the technique that you can't be super productive if you're taking really long stretches of time to do things. I think that all of us moms kind of have a, a tendency to get really lost in a task and we will just like focus on it for hours if we have to. So whether it's getting all of the laundry done or getting all the dishes put away or I'm gonna clean this entire nursery, you know, we just get totally lost in it and we find ourselves two hours later still trying to work on this same task and we haven't taken a break at all. Well, research has shown that not only is that exhausting, but it's also ineffective. And over time, you start to see your productivity kind of peter out because you just can't keep going at that level of intensity for that long. So there's actually an app um, on, like uh, this is from the iPhone app store. <laughs> um, if you type in productivity timer or Pomodoro technique or focus technique, it will literally bring up dozens of apps just like this one. But basically the premise of this is that you divide up anything that you wanna do into 25 minute chunks of time with a five minute break in between. So let's say that I've made up my mind that today I am going to um, work on the laundry. I can actually go into this app click the start button, and this is going to run a timer for me for 25 minutes. And basically, I commit myself that no matter what happens, whether I get a phone call or uh, anything else that might come into my mind that I'd like to work on instead of doing that one task, I completely ignore it. Now, obviously, you have to take care of your kid during that time, but the point is, for 25 minutes, that time is sacred. You're not getting on Facebook or Instant Messenger or Instagram. You are focusing 25 minutes of your time on getting that task done. Then, um, if you once you work for that entire 25 minutes, this timer will stop letting you know that the 25 minutes is up, and it immediately begins a five minute break period. And during that time, you have to allow yourself, give yourself permission to go sit down and play around on Instagram if you want to for five minutes or go sit down and drink a cup of coffee or whatever. Just do something for five minutes that is not whatever that task is that you were just doing. 
Then when the five minutes is up, this app will ring again, letting you know that another 25 minute time period has begun. This app actually goes through four 25 minute time periods, each one having a five minute break in between. And once you have reached your fourth 25 minute span of time, it will immediately trigger a 20 to 30 minute rest time for you so that you kind of have to sit down and take a break. I don't know if um, everybody else is like I am, but I really need discipline like that to make me slow down. I will just keep on until I have totally worn myself out. So an app like this, um, for some reason, it gives me permission to stop and get off my feet and take a break. And because of that, I don't feel so defeated during the 25 minutes where I am putting in really, really hard focused work. The next app that I use almost every week is an app called Instacart. Um, this is actually a home delivery service to bring you groceries and other supplies that you might be stepping out to get on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Um, what you do when you go into this app is all it asks you is to put in your zip code and then it brings up a list of whatever um, grocery stores or pharmacies or things like that are available in your area. So for me, I am able to access Publix and CVS. There's actually one of those just right around the corner from my house. And although it might sound ridiculous, like Amber, if you have one right around the corner, why don't you just go? Grocery store trips are like a big deal for me. Getting my son out the door is hard. If he gets cranky while we're there, that's a whole fiasco. And it's just, it's something about my week that I dread every single week is going to the grocery store. Um, what I do with Instacart instead now is I can actually place my order for my groceries online. You can do this either through an app on your phone or you can do it um, on your browser on the computer. But basically you can shop for anything that is already in that store that is in your area. Um, once you've put everything in your grocery cart that you want and you go to checkout, you can specify the time window that you want your delivery to happen. So I can either say like I want the next available time and they'll just bring it ASAP or I can say bring it between 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock p.m. I can schedule it around when my son's naps are or when I know he's going to be awake and it's awesome. Someone hand delivers um, your groceries right to your door. These are people that have been vetted out, that are known to be safe. They don't have criminal backgrounds or anything like that. And essentially all they do is come to your door with your groceries kept in coolers if you have any cold stuff, and you don't even have to sign anything. They drop off your stuff and immediately you get a text message on your phone asking you to rate the delivery and you're allowed to give a tip from there if you want to. So I always try to leave a 15% tip for that person because they are literally doing my most hated job <laughs> each week. So I, I wanna give them a pretty good tip. So I know that some people might look at that and say, well, why would I pay to have something done that I could do myself? But my philosophy and my husband's philosophy has always been my time is worth something. There is a monetary value for my time. And to me, paying $5 to get an hour or two of my time back is totally worth it. I get a lot of questions from people about how do I continue doing Bible time or just reading in general when I'm a busy mom. The way that I do that is actually also through two apps on my phone. The first one is Audible and the second one is YouVersion. Audible is um, an app that goes through your phone where you're able to download books and you can just listen to them throughout your day. Sometimes the author narrates the books, sometimes a paid actor narrates the books, but it is just an awesome app to allow you to be able to listen to a book while you're doing whatever you're doing around the house, <laughs> you know, instead of just sitting there listening to Sesame Street on the TV uh, while your kids watch that, you can actually be reading a book just listening to it instead of being lost in the pages like this. Audible is pretty inexpensive. Even buying the books is inexpensive because you're not actually buying a physical book, you're just buying an audio file. So I think it's a really, really affordable way to read books during the times when you wouldn't be able to sit down and focus on reading a book with your eyeballs. The app that I use for making sure that I'm getting some Bible time in is an app called YouVersion. It actually, um, if you search YouVersion in the app store, it comes up with this weird little icon that's just called Bible. Um, and that's a little bit confusing if you're looking for something called YouVersion. It is just the little Bible icon with Bible written in the middle. But from within YouVersion, you can do many things. One, you can just straight up read the Bible. All of the translations, or at least the major ones, have been narrated, so you can actually press play and listen to it through headphones or out loud through your phone speaker, just like you can in Audible. And there's also a huge repository of devotional topics that you can go through. So you can do seven days on marriage, or 10 days on parenting, or three days on friendship. And each day, the app will actually prompt you to read through your devotional for that day. 
The last thing that I use to be more productive during my day is something that isn't an app, it's something that I do, and that is baby wearing. I know there are a lot of people who feel uncomfortable with baby wearing because there's a strong learning curve and sometimes it takes a lot of effort to get your baby used to it, but um, I'm so happy that when my son was an infant, I really, really made the commitment to get him used to baby wearing and being comfortable with it so that it's something that we could continue to use even now that he's a toddler. Um, I keep him just about every morning when I get him out of bed, I put on my ring sling. This one is a Techni woven sling that we actually just started selling at thesensiblemama.com. All kinds of cute prints. Um, and basically all I do is put him inside of this sling. He sits right here on my hip and I just go about my day making his breakfast, getting my coffee made, and he can just sit here and be totally happy inside of this sling. I know that we all get that temptation to just put our babies on the floor and turn on the TV and go get our things done, and I, and I do that. Like, I'm, I'm not saying that I don't do that, but there are definitely times where I know that my son needs me, he wants to feel close to me, and I can't be holding him and being productive at the same time. So I often am having to like choose, do I wanna stop what I'm working on and go sit down with my son? Or do I wanna keep working on what I'm working on and let him try to self entertain for a while? And while you do need to do both of those things um, every now and then, sometimes it's really great to just decide that you're going to do both at the same time, being with your baby and getting stuff done. So baby wearing has been a really huge lifesaver for me in that regard for sure. So you guys, that is five ways that I focus on being more productive during my day while also getting all of my mom responsibilities taken care of. I hope that some of this is helpful. If you have any questions about any of the apps or anything that I showed you today, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>